Welcome back everyone, Tina here and in this video I'm going to show you how you can manage your subscription inside the client portal or how your clients can manage their subscription inside the client portal should you have set this up. Now it's really easy to manage subscriptions, view invoices, whether you need to cancel a subscription, view any details or even filter through multiple subscriptions. Everything now is available from one place. Now let me show you how this looks like and what is new. So first you want to grab your portal URL login. If you have set this up already, you can find this on the sides on the left client portal at the top and then you can see here the client portal url then we want to log into our portal right here click login and right here we're being forwarded to our courses library so this particular client is enrolled into one course okay so now if you click top right corner click on account then a new page will open up which looks like this then you want to click on billing and subscriptions on the left and here you can see confirmation code has been sent to our email address so let's go and grab that real quick let's copy the code paste it right here and ta-da, here is our building and subscriptions client portal. So here are three tabs on the top. You can see subscriptions, you can see invoices, and you can see transactions. Okay, now let's start to talk about subscriptions. You can just click here the search date. Let's say we want to search from the 1st of September until the 3rd, and let's hit confirm. And you see no subscriptions have been made. So now let's go back and modify the date a little bit. Let's say 7th of September, let's hit confirm. It takes a minute, and now here it shows up. Here is the one subscription which we have going as this particular client inside this client portal. Now, you can see the subscription name. It's a new link, which means it was a quick payment link. Then you can see the source payment link as well, right? Start date was 7th of September. The amount we are paying is $1, but currently we are trialing, okay? Now, under the three dots, under actions right here, you can click that and you can click view. And that will give you information about what is going on. What is this trial all about? When is the next invoice due? So this has a seven day trial, for example, this product, that's a subscription ID, the internal order, the type and the ID. Okay. Let's go back to the three dots. You can hit cancel right here. If you wanted to cancel your subscription, or if you wanted to share an update payment link, you can click here and it will show you the share link. You can just copy that. You can open it in a new tab and you can update your payment methods. Okay. Let's close that. And if you wanted to cancel the subscription, you just click hit cancel. Then the system will ask you again, hey, do you really want to cancel it? If you want to go ahead of the cancellation, click cancel subscription. If you don't, then you just exit out. Please note that once you cancel the subscription right here, access to the courses and memberships will be automatically revoked. Also, you can click the filter button right here and you'll be able to filter by status and also by source. So you could see all subscriptions, active subscriptions, trial expired, past due, unpaid, failed, canceled, and incomplete. You can also filter by source. Do you only want to see membership subscriptions or also community subscriptions? Then you can hit clear when you're done or apply when you want to see it. Let's hit clear for now. And here on the stages, you can see different subscriptions, which some are active, some are expired, and some are canceled. Now let's talk about invoices. Click on invoices at the top. And here you can see all the invoices attached to this particular client. Again, you can utilize the search function by dates right here and the filters right here by status. Hey, has this been paid? Is it in draft? Has it been sent? Has the payment been processed, partially paid, or is it overdue? Right here, you can see this particular invoice has been sent, but not paid. Okay, click the three dots right here. You can see view and a new tab opens up with all the details of the invoice. And from here, you can also click download PDF at the bottom right. Furthermore, you can also click on the three dots again and click download right here to download the invoice straight from the portal. Next up is transactions. Here you can see all the transactions made. This transaction is connected to the subscription, which is in trial, right? So now this particular client hasn't paid anything. That's why it says zero. The status has been succeeded because they left the credit card details, but they haven't started their $1 subscription just yet. Okay. Again, same thing here. You can filter by the dates. You can filter by status and source. Clicking the three dots, you can view what is this transaction all about. Here it will give you more information about the transaction, when it was held, the ID, the internal order ID, and so on and so forth. Down here, you have a drop down menu. You can list 10, 20, or 50 subscriptions, transactions, or invoices. Right now, we only have one, so we only see one. One other quick update is about the profile picture. If we click on our profile here, then we edit our profile. Let's update an image real quick. Click on the pencil icon. Let's upload this image. And here, you can perfectly crop it if you want to zoom in or out to really make it perfectly fit your profile. Hit save. And here we go. Perfect. Hit complete as well. This is how easy you can manage your subscriptions and invoices right now and if you as the user don't want your clients to be able to manage subscriptions you can just simply turn this off in app permissions as well i hope you like this new feature and i'll see you in the next update video